It cut through it pretty good. That's probably about a five inch log. I think it's pretty good. For battery powered, and it's the cheapest on the internet. What? Hey folks, welcome back to the homestead. My name is Lance. I want to welcome you to our channel. Today we are going to use and test for the first time the cheapest 40 volt battery powered pole saw on the internet. So let's get to it. Like I was saying, we got the cheapest 40 volt battery powered pole saw on the internet through Amazon. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check it out. I don't really know how to pronounce this name. I assume it's Lithi Li, something like that. L-I-T-H-E-L-I. -E you guys let me know if you guys know how to spell it correctly. But it seems to be in pretty good. I mean, it's the heavy duty. So hopefully this thing works out really good. I was going to do a whole unboxing, but to use it, you kind of have to have uh, some other things. You have to get the battery charged. You get to have to have the chain soaked. So I did all the prep work. All I have to do now is assemble and get this thing ready. So I've had the chain soaking more than 24 hours. So I'm just getting it out of this goo. And I'm just gonna rinse it off once I get it all untangled. There we go. Then I'm just unscrewing the little housing. And the cool part, one of the cool parts on this, is it tells you exactly how the chain needs to run. So if you guys can see that, it tells you that this part of the chain, when you put it on, needs to make sure it's going that way. So that's helpful. This has got a Oregon 10 inch bar. So it needs to go this way. And I'm just lining it up with the grooves. Make sure it matches what the picture has. So I have the bar put into the little the holder that it goes into have this lined up just like it's supposed to so at this point I'm just going to tighten it down Okay, I got the chain on, just like it talks about. Should snap right back, fully goes around. So should be good to go. I do need to put in a little bit of chain oil and I don't have a little funnel with me, so I just have to be extra careful. Uh -oh. And I overfilled it. And on this side, it has a little reading so you can see how much is in there. It's at the max level right now. All right, then we just need to assemble it. And right here, there's a little notch right where that goes. Get it all the way in. Then it's attached. It does come with a little chain and bar guard there. So we're not using it, you can put that on. It does come with a little strap. A little shoulder strap for you. 
That attaches right back here. So just like any other power, power tool, just slide that on. I'm gonna put on my gloves and we're gonna give this a test drive. Let's go test this thing out. So one of the reasons why I need this, or I think I need it, is there's just some limbs that I'm just not able to get with my, my regular chainsaw very well, or very safely, I should say. This limb right here is a perfect example of why I think I need one of these. So let's get this thing cut down so next year when I have to mow, I don't have to come, and this doesn't have to hit my tractor and hit me and all that other kind of fun stuff. So now if I didn't want to have to hold my hands up as high, I can raise it. If you need a little bit more stability. Man. This thing works pretty dang good. I call that a win. I think it's working pretty good. Oh. I think it's working pretty good. Now, one of the things I do like about it is you can change the, the position of the head Can even go past vertical this way and almost at a 45 that way. But that works really great. So let's see if we can get another limb here and see if we can get that thing cut too. So this is another limb that wasn't here. I could get in here a little bit closer and mow. So let's give it a try. That worked really good. So that worked pretty good. What is that, about a two and a half inch log right there? It cut through it pretty good like butter. Let's see if we can find a bigger log to cut into. <laughs> so this big old limb here, it has multiple sizes we can cut off. We're gonna start at the tip of it and work back. Should be fun. That thing worked really, really well. As you can see, it cut through it pretty good. That's probably about a five inch log. I think it's pretty good. For battery powered, and it's the cheapest on the internet. What? Well guys, I don't know about you, but I am super thrilled with this purchase. 
like I said, this was the cheapest 40 volt uh, uh, battery powered pole saw that we can find on the internet. And it's one of those things where I may use it six times throughout the whole year. So it was really hard for me to buy one of those like really good steels that are like $700 or even a, a Milwaukee or a, or, a, or, a, or DeWalt that runs in the three or four hundreds. This was $130, something like that. And it works great, as you can see. I mean, it cut through a log that was at least almost as big as my hands. So was it six inches? But guys, thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments or any suggestions on how to use this better, leave it down in the comments down below. Give us a big thumbs up, would appreciate that. Hey, if you haven't seen us on Facebook or Instagram, those links are down below in our description. Hey, and as always, click that subscribe button, ring that bell so you don't miss the next video that comes out. But from our homestead to yours, have a blessed day and we'll catch you on the next video. Bye. 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 Hey, uh, we're done here. Okay, all right, bye. Bye-bye.